One of the key things is to make sure that they open up and kind of come off of the face. And then we want to be able to peel back that fringe. What's up guys, welcome to today's class. So let's go over the hairstyle. Um, one thing I want to showcase you guys, I did pull up pictures, some of the pictures of the Farrah Fawcett uh, haircut. We're gonna modernize it today. So some of you guys have seen it uh, in different forms. It's just got a ton of layers. Uh, they come off of the face. It's a center parting. So first off, like I said, I'm gonna be cutting this on dry hair. So I want you guys to uh, just understand that the purpose of that is I just wanna see it come to life right away. Um, also, some of the techniques I'm gonna use are gonna be softening techniques. When you cut this haircut, which in the 70s probably would've cut it wet, um, when I cut it dry, especially that fringe, I'll be able to soften those layers a lot more and those lines right away, as opposed to cutting a very blunt line at first and then trying to soften it later in the dry cut. All right, so this is a beautiful hair color by Brian. If you guys are wanting to learn this, I think it was the Sarah Jessica Parker, the modern day version that I believe we put out. Yeah, we, it's out on YouTube now. Um, so you guys can check that out if you like the hair color. What we're gonna do with this haircut is I wanna start off in the front and work my way through and feather the sides first. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the back and cut a little bit of layering in there as well. But I just wanna start off, I'm gonna take a triangle section right out of the front. Now, I've got this nice little triangle. This is gonna be our fringe. So this is where I talk about uh, being able to create that softness using either a scissor or you could even use a razor. I'm gonna use a scissor today. One of the key things is to make sure that they open up and kind of come off of the face. And then we wanna be able to peel back that fringe so it kind of sits off. So you wanna reserve a little extra length in the haircut so that you can pop that fringe up and back off in a way. So I've got this triangle here, and what I'm gonna do with that triangle is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it right in front of the opposite triangle. So we've got two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the left side, pull it over to the right side, and that's where I'm going to cut it. Now I want a little bit of a blunt line. So what I'm using is a wide tooth comb. This wide tooth comb allows less tension in the hair. Less tension in the hair creates a softer effect in the hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those wide teeth and I'm gonna pull the hair over to the side. Now, the more I extend and shift, the more extreme that line becomes. Um, so this is a much thicker effect. But when you look at the modern day take on this classic, you can see that it's obviously a little longer on the edges here, but because it flips out, it becomes almost like a straight line. So what I don't wanna do is overdo the over direction and create too much length. Because if I do that, that's going to take away, it's going to create too much extra length on the sides. And that wouldn't give me that same effect. So again, triangle over top of this triangle, bring it over here. And then that's where I'm going to cut it. What I wanna do is I want to use just the tip of my scissor and work a line on the hair. I'm gonna bring this over just like that and this is where I'm going to cut. And then I wanna look at this line, and is that line how I want it to be? So I see it drop. I'm gonna take a little extra length off of this. You can see that it has that little bit of extra length, but then it creates almost a straight line across, which is what we're going for. So now, we bring the opposite side over to this side. I can grab a little piece from underneath as a guideline, don't grab too much. Okay, so now I've got my fringe, that that's the basis of the cut. So now what I can do is I can take out the side and I'm just gonna continue. So I have a diagonal line here. I'm gonna work back another diagonal line here. So diagonal line here. And now I'm just gonna shift and create another diagonal line, almost following the hairline. And then it's gonna turn into a diagonal back. Now 
there's a couple ways we could do the layering on the side. If I wanna remove a little extra weight, then I would go a little more elevation based like this. If I wanted to just slide some of those layers in, I could just slide through and cut. The two different ways create just a slight difference. The slight difference would be if I slide through it and cut the length, what that's gonna do is give me heavier uh, back push, a pushback of weight a little bit heavier because I'm really just cutting the surface of that section. If I elevate and cut, I'm, I'm gonna be cutting more of that section off, taking out more weight and creating more layers. But if you had somebody with fine hair, which was a question that we had at the very beginning, then you would wanna scoop in as opposed to taking out too much of that weight. So what we're gonna do here is, again, take this opposite side, pull it up over top of the previously cut side. Now I come in here and I can point cut into the section. All right, so cut that section. Now I wanna look at where are these layers starting to hit. For me, I can go a little bit shorter with them. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. Grab another section. Again, starting to shift. So I go from here shifting back. So just grabbing a little more hair, starting to follow that hairline. And I really just wanna go, I mean, you can go as far back as you want. You just go until the hair doesn't reach anymore. So you can see the hairline coming back. This is where her hair is the thickest. It gets thinner because the density changes and it starts to work its way up on the ear and around the hairline this way. So you only have this much hair. In the back here, you have this much. So you're just working with a lot more density uh, in the back. So somebody that has super thick hair, you might wanna change up this whole thing in the back. Somebody that has finer hair, you might just wanna continue through bringing everything up, which will keep that density in the back. All right, so now I wanna get in, start working a style through it. I got a couple of different irons. I got my Paul Mitchell wand iron here. I've got a smoothing iron, Paul Mitchell Pro Tools, uh, Neuro iron. I'm gonna put that at 390 as well. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do a little bit of, uh, this is Paul Mitchell worked up. I'm gonna take those diagonal sections, kind of similar to what I did, and I'm just gonna work Now, take my wand. Okay, so now I can slide cut into some of these pieces where I just want to take a little bit of length off. So a little half close. And the reason this works so easily, guys, is the fact that we went in and cut it with elevation first, so it removed a lot of weight. So because it's light um, in each section, now it's easy for me to just kind of glide through and cut. 